There are so many people who want to tell you that they've survived bullying. They want to tell you that there's a life beyond it. They want to tell you that they've got over it, they've got through it, they've risen above it, whatever the phrase of the day is. I'm so pleased to see there are so many people doing that. Bullying is actually being talked about and that's amazing. There are so many opportunities to share these stories, which there haven't been previously, especially with the opportunities on the internet. And it's amazing to see how many people have done wonderful things with their lives despite being bullied. When I was younger, there wasn't very much of that around. Bullying was beginning to be taken seriously, especially by teachers, but unfortunately there wasn't much training or much research into what to do about it. I think if there had been more stories shared, that might possibly have helped. It wouldn't have made the bullying any better, but it may have helped me see that there was a light at the end of it all. Possibly. And that's the reason I'm doing this. I really hope it helps. I have actually reached that light now. I have a wonderful family. I have a great job. I have lovely friends. I have a lovely place to live. And I know I'm really lucky and I know not everyone will get that. But it is more common than you think. And what I want you to know is it really is possible. No matter how far down you've been and how dark those places seem to be, I've been there and now I'm here. And you can do that too. But I understand how hard it is and how hard it is to believe that. If I can make you believe even a tiny bit that things will get better, then I've done some good. You will have heard people say it so many times that it probably sounds hollow, but it's true, you mustn't let the bullies win. You are in charge of your life. I know it may not feel like it, but you are. I know there are some things that you can't control, but there are a lot of things that you can and you need to remember that. People will say a lot of hurtful things to you, but one day you will be able to walk away. Maybe it's not quite now, but it will happen. You will show them that you've won. But I know that's a really easy thing to say, and I hear myself say it now, and I know that I wouldn't have believed it years ago. There were many ways in which the bullies won in the short term. I took up smoking to make myself look cooler. I started handing my work in late so I looked less swatty. The sad thing is that did work in a way. In the last couple of years of school, I was bullied a lot less. It didn't stop the bullying, and please don't try it. Ultimately, that was them winning, not me. Those things affected me far worse, especially the smoking, than they ever did me any good. It didn't make me any happier. I ended up hiding things from my family and friends. In the end, I ended up with a kind of double life, where I was a good, well-behaved child at home, and a rebel to impress when I was out. I got older boyfriends, I dressed sexy, I did a lot of things I regret. I was doing so many things because of the effects other people were having on me that ultimately I ended up with no idea who I really was. My two lives were at two extremes and somewhere in the middle was the real me but I couldn't find it. I was completely lost. I was neither one thing or the other. I never quite fitted. I had difficulty finding the right friends because neither of those personalities were who I really was. I have survived bullying. I haven't risen above it or overcome it but I've survived it. And it hasn't gone away. I'm still petrified of large groups of children. I have talked to groups of young people and children a few times and been to help out in my daughter's school, but it takes a huge amount of bravery for me to do that. I am absolutely petrified of a group of 10 year olds. Even at the age of 32, I go back to being a peer, to wondering what they will say about how I look or how I dress or how I sound. And it still does happen. And I don't know how to react and it takes all my strength not to run away. It's like someone's poking at the wounds that were healed, or picking at the scabs so they bleed all over again. The effects of bullying don't go away, and we shouldn't pretend that they do. Just because I have a happy and successful life doesn't mean it still doesn't affect me. It does. Someone can make just an innocent comment about my height, or my voice, or me being masculine in some way, and I'm right back there, a fragile child. And it still does happen. Less often, but sometimes still maliciously. And sometimes just because people don't think. And sometimes just innocently. I don't think it will ever actually go away. But it's such a tiny part of my whole life. Everyone gets hurt at some point, and we all carry some hurt around with us. But there's so much good out there, and there's so much happiness out there for the taking, that it becomes less and less of a significance. And the advantage of that pain is that hopefully I can help others. One of the proudest moments of my life is when a teenage girl, who I had been absolutely petrified of meeting with her group of friends just ten minutes before, 
came back to talk to me. I'd mentioned the fact that I was bullied, and she came back on her own to come and ask me about it. We only had a very brief conversation, but I could see that hope appear in her eyes. She told me it was really helpful to see me as I was, so confident and successful, and know that I had been through being bullied. I would never have believed it when I was going through it, but it was worth all that pain just to help her. There is a light. Find someone you trust to help you see it. Believe the people who love you. Why would the bullies be telling the truth? They want to hurt you. Look at all the people who have been through bullying and survived. Don't give up on the amazing life that you can have. I have wanted to give up so many times and I'm not saying it's easy. It's not. But you're not alone.